Hey guys, welcome to another sprite animation tutorial. So today I'm going to be going over masks. So this probably won't be very long because it's relatively easy, even though it seems quite complicated, it's not really. So let's say hypothetically you have an area like this where you want to have Sonic go through here and you know, you'll be able to only see him in these little holes. If you have too many layers, or hypothetically, like hypothetically, if you have too many layers, or if you have no way of separating this part from the main bit of ground, it's going to be quite difficult to do it without doing frame by frame, cut him off the screen, and then put him back in. Like, it's just, it takes too long. This makes everything a bit quicker. So, firstly, what, you want, what you're going to want to do is just animate your character going through where you want them to go. So there we go. So he's moving across, but as you can see, you, you can you can see him, and you, you you don't want to do this. It looks stupid. So this is where the mask comes into play. So you make another layer above the layer of what you want to mask, and you select a color with the fill bucket. It doesn't really matter what color. I normally just go black. And then you want to select this little rectangle. Make sure you don't have the stroke. And everywhere that's like in here, in these little holes, you just want to draw a rectangle. Or depending on what you're doing, you just want to draw the shape of what it is that you want. So you don't have to do this, but if you want to. I mean, it's probably going to be easier. Do a mask before they go in as well. Just like that. And then what you want to do is go down to the layer that you've drawn the mask on, right click, and then just click mask. And then it will do it. So as you can see, it will lock the layer. But when you go, th when you play it, it'll look like he's going through. So obviously you can edit the mask at any point. Just remember uh, when you want to preview, um, just put show your mask and it will lock the layer, but you can obviously go back and change it later. And that's pretty much it guys. Relatively simple tutorial, which is sad because every other tutorial I've seen of masks, they make it overly complicated. So I hope you all enjoyed. I hope this helped out some of you guys. If you have any suggestions for what I should do for the next tutorial, drop a comment below and I'll probably do it. So yeah, thanks for watching, I'll see you all next time.